Hi, my name is Richard Stuttle and I'm the author of Chasing Rainbows, The Stolen Future of Caroline Ann Stuttle. 2002, my sister Caroline Stuttle decided to go backpacking and you know we were all for it. I'd done a couple of snowboard seasons in the French Alps, we'd done a fair bit of travel um, so we were confident, you know, go off and see the world and take a gap year. She'd worked really hard. Um, off she went in November and um, she made her way to Sydney, made her way up the East Coast and by April she was in a place called Bundaberg and Bundaberg's a sleepy town. It was uh, you know, famous for Mon Repos, which is a turtle sanctuary and Bundaberg Rum, um, both fabulous. So she, she, was, she was there, that she was looking for some fruit picking work. She was traveling with a friend of hers. One evening she was um, walking home. So she was staying at a campsite and on the other side of the town, she had to cross a bridge and the campsite was, was, was there just on the outskirts. And she got stopped for her belongings and someone wanted to take a mobile phone, take a wallet, a money, a purse, and she wasn't willing to let those go. So there was a struggle. Um, and unfortunately she, uh, she fought back and, and lost her life. She was thrown over the railings. Um, so we were, as a family, we, we found out the news. I was in the French Alps at the time. Um, devastating. I mean, what, what, what can you do? Um, so we set up a charity and it was called Caroline's Rainbow Foundation and it was to work to keep backpackers safe, help young people travel in a safer environment. We didn't want Caroline's love for life and her memory and, and what she stood for to, to just go unanswered by us and by what she could do to help people after her death. So we didn't want other families to go through the same grief, the same tragedy that we went through. So we founded um, Char Caroline's Rainbow Foundation and um, worked tirelessly to sort of help young people travel in a safer environment. About the book, well, I've always been interested in writing in a sense, although never been a writer. So when I travelled in um, 2003, I went over to Australia. I did two years on a gap year backpacking, and um, I, ca I kept a daily diary. You know, I wanted to record uh, the day-to-day -day life as a backpacker. You know, one, I wanted to, to remember what happened because I knew memories faded, and two, I was I was journeying for Caroline. I was living um, the dreams that she never got to fulfil in a way. Um, so ever since that day, I kept, uh, until this day, I've, I've kept a diary every day. Um, so that kind of encouraged my writing and encouraged me to, uh, to think more about words and think more about what I wanted to say. Um, the book, two years ago, I, I took a leap of faith. I stopped the work that I was doing and I dedicated time every day to write. I wanted to pull all this information together. Everything that we'd done as a, as a family for the charity, all the things I'd been through with, with grief and bereavement, um, and then finding a level of understanding about the world and you know the different aspects to life, the different energies, the different people that you encounter. Um, all of those things kind of really interested me and there was a sense that I wanted to pull this book together, one for Caroline's memory and for her legacy, um, two it was to help people, you know, as the charity's motto has been follow your dreams, we encourage people to travel and it's, it's important that we, we do that as much as we can and I thought the book will go alongside that. Um, there was also a selfish reason to it as well, you know, it was a cathartic process for me. It was I got to relive my 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 travels back in in 2003 to 2005 and then all the the other snowboard seasons and the different things and the working around Europe and all the things I'd done in my life and got to to kind of relive those and go through all of that and certainly revisit the griefs revisit my feelings at the time things I probably hadn't dealt with properly um, and how long-term grief affects people because it's very different over time and of course it's individual to everybody